What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys another guide for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shine and Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing all 12 locations for all the starters inside this game. If you guys do find this guide informative, if it does help you out, or you just enjoy the content on the channel, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you guys would like to see any other guides, leave them in the comment section down below. But in order to get all the starters in the game, there is one requirement and run one requirement only. And that is going to be obtaining the national decks it's not that hard it's pretty simple pretty straightforward all you have to do is see every single pokemon in the Sinnoh deck so there's about 150 to like 151 i believe and once you see all of them you actually head to sand gem town go talk to professor rowan he will upgrade your pokedex to the national decks and then bam bang you're done you get the, yourselves the starters you can find a bunch of different pokemon in this game but the starters are actually broken up into three groups you got the fires you got the water you got the grass obviously but the reason i am saying they're broken up into groups is because the grass types are found in the same area the fire types are found in the same area and the water types are all found in the same area but all these guys are actually underground so that is exactly where we're gonna head we're gonna use our explore kit and we're gonna head down there but we're going to get started off with the first group, which is going to be grass. We're going to get grass started. And these guys can be found in two different locations. You got the grassland caves and the fountain spring caves. So just head to any of them and legit just start farming. them. Just start farming them there in both those locations. I think you have a higher chance of finding them in the, uh, the fountain spring cave. But we're going to do this one in the grassland cave because, you know, it's grass types. We got to find them all. So we can find uh, the first one, which will be Bulbasaur. Then we can find Chikorita. We can find Turtwig and Trico. All four of them will be located in this one. But like I said, you have a higher chance of finding the uh, grass starters in the fountain spring cave. But we're just going to keep doing this. Just keep farming it. Go back and forth and see if we can find any of them. I know they are a little rare, so bear with the time and everything when you're uh, looking for these just keep going back and forth and i promise you guys i promise you guys you guys will eventually find all of these starters but yeah a lot of people were wondering so i was just like yo let me make a guide on this i feel like hopefully this is informative to you guys hopefully you guys do find it enjoying as well but this is legit all we are going to do is just keep going back and forth you could find some really cool pokemon like scythers in this game he's escorted he's a sword exclusive no not sword he's a brilliant diamond exclusive which is pretty cool but like I said, just keep hopping back and forth, and eventually you guys will find your starters. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that. Finding a turret wig, and look at this thing hopping around on me. This is the first starter we have found. Look at that. Look at that. Like I said, just keep doing this thing. You guys will find all the starters. But turret wig is on the board. I already start this game off with Empoleon. My YouTube profile has turret wig. This one does not have turret wig. So we're going to be catching this boy. I do have a Macargo in here, and you guys are probably wondering, like, yo, Jeans, why are you just rocking with a Macargo? I'm actually egg hatching, so this thing has flame body. Helps hatch eggs a lot quicker. And, ooh, ooh, this might be tough. We might have made the wrong call. And Turtwig do work on us? He has Giga Drain. This thing has Giga Drain, but it shouldn't be too hard to catch these Pokemon. Should be pretty simple. We should just be able to throw a Pokeball and get moving across. But uh, do I hit this thing with an Earth Power? I feel like we won't kill it with an Earth Power. I feel like an Earth Power will not kill it. A Flamethrower might, because this thing has low stats. And mm, he eats up the Earth Power pretty well. He does eat up the Earth Power pretty well. We are just going to try to throw an Ultra Ball at it and see how that one plays out. Because, you know, Ultra Balls against starters should be able to rock out pretty well. But granted, they're level 64. But like I said, I'm using my cargo to actually catch or hatch eggs, make some hatch quicker. I'm doing that over on stream, building competitive teams, and doing competitive battles. So if that interests you, name is on the layout, and link is down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. But there you go. That's how you get Turtwig. Let's move on to the other grass starters. Here's lucky number two, one of my favorite grass starters of all time. My main man Trico over here. Now just imagine if that thing was shiny. That would have been really cool. But we got Turtwig on the board. Time to get Trico. We have our Marcargo out here. Hopefully we can just throw a quick ball and make this one a quick one, right? We, we, we always hope so. We definitely always hope so. But yo, these things are on a high level. They're on such a high level. Like 62 for a starter? That's nuts. We're going to throw this quick ball at it. Hopefully it does the job. Let's see it. Nope, yo. Quick ball is not working. Let's drop a nice little like ancient power or something. Not ancient power. Earth power. See if we can deal some damage, but I think if we just throw an Ultra Ball at this thing, I think it actually should just catch it up. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try instead of wasting a turn hitting them. Ultra Ball getting tossed out here. I'm surprised we haven't got any shakes from a Quick Ball, man. There's Shake. Come on. Two. Give me three. Lock it down. Let's go. There's our second Grass Starter. Let's get Chikorita or... What's the other one that we need? Chikorita or... Why can't I think of it? Or Bulbasaur. Why couldn't I think of Bulbasaur? Chikorita or Bulbasaur as our third one. We finally found the OG grass starter of Bulbasaur over here, but I think in the beginning of the video, I said you can find the grass starters in the Fountain Spring Cave and the Grassland Cave, which is a mistake, actually. You cannot find them in the Fountain Spring Cave. You find them in the Grassland Cave and the Riverbank Cave. 
the riverbank cave is the other one that i meant to say besides the fountain spring cave but uh we're here we got bubble right here found him in the grassland cave let's see if we can just throw an ultra ball at him and pick him up let's see one throw i think ultra balls are the way to go i think you can just huck ultra balls at him and do it like that Here's the fourth and final grass starter in the grassland cave over here. I think that's what it's called, grassland cave. Yeah. Chikorita. Finally, we are getting done all the grass types. Actually, it took me decently long. Decently long, not even gonna lie. But you guys can also uh, throw in uh, stuff into your, or statues into your caves to actually raise the chances of grass type spawning if you guys want to boost yourselves up just a little bit. I am actually doing that. Makes things a little bit easier. But these Pokemon are pretty rare to find, so I highly do recommend that. But Ultra Balls are the way to go. Oh, it's not. It is not. This thing's about to rip my Macargo. What's he going to go for? An, ooh, an Ancient Power. Luckily, we're Rock-type. I think that will be even, right? And this thing... Oh, it's super effective. That hit pretty hard. And this thing does not get a stat boost, which is great. We'll just throw yet another Ultra Ball on him. Try to catch him. Come on, baby. Let us finish up with these Grass Stars. Oh, this one's giving us a tough time. This one's giving me a tough time. Real tough time. Real tough time. Does he want us to hit him with a Flamethrower? Because I can. If he doesn't get in this ball, we're going to hit him with a Flamethrower. There's one, there's two, there's three. See, you just gotta threaten the Pokemon, but that's all the grass types. Let's move on to water types. So the water starters Squirtle, Totodile, Mudkip, and Piplup can all be found in two different areas. You got the Fountain Spring Cave and the River Bank Cave. So just head into any of those, do what we were just doing, go back and forth, and you will eventually find them. But we are sitting here in the Fountain Spring Cave looking for these water Pokemon, and look at this. Beautiful Totodile right off the rip let's get this guy i wish he was shiny he looks sick he's looking real spiffy but i might have made a mistake leading him a cargo because you know if we get hit by a water type that's four times super effective but i think we're chilling we still have bulbasaur in our party and uh chicken reader from when we caught him but let's actually just throw this ultra ball like ultra ball is gonna work out like i said ultra ball has been rolling strong for us so might as well throw it give us that catch oh no we in trouble we in trouble what's this thing gonna go for it's gonna go for a medical okay we should be able to eat that up all day Thank you very much. And he gets this he gets the stat boost. Now he's looking a little scary. Get that attack boost. So if this thing goes for a nice little water move, we might be dead. But let's just keep hucking ultra balls at it. I really don't feel like hitting this thing dealing damage. I probably should have brought a Pokemon with false swipe. But I do have one in my uh box, but it's all good. Ultra balls rocking out here. Let's catch some more water Pokemon. One of my favorite starters, Piplup over here. Catching them for the second water starter in this game. Yo, dude, I love how they add it that you can catch all the stars, especially post game. I think that's such a cool post game thing. I like how they brought it to the post game instead of not being able to do it for the original playthrough. So I really do think we're going to see like extra starters being able to be caught in future Pokemon games, which I think is very, very cool. But I just think it's cool. Everybody always wants stars and usually you have to trade for it or get another game in order to get it. But this way, they make them a little bit rare. You can find them in the dens and it's just awesome all the way. But this thing escapes from a first Pokeball. Thank God they haven't used a water move on me yet. That'll be a little tough. That could be a little tough, but we're going to throw our next Pokeball. This Pip Pup's giving us a tough time. He's giving us a tough time, and he's going to drop a Mist. That ain't doing anything. We're fine with the Mist. I'm telling you, if this thing drops like a Hydro Pump or something, it's going to be deadly. It's going to be deadly. Or any type of water move. He's level 60. This thing will, this thing will tear me up. Ultra Ball cooking. They ain't working. They ain't working. I guess this Pip Pup's putting up a fight. He's going to drop a Drill Peck. It's going to be easy eat for my boy. So, so far, he doesn't have a water move. Oh, no. We burned him. We burned a poor Pip Pup. Even though we already have a Piplup because this was my starter for his playthrough, it's all good. I want to catch another one. I want to catch another one. Just for you guys. Just for you guys. Let's throw another Ultra Ball while he has status condition on him. That'll actually raise the chances of us catching him. So hopefully we can catch him here. Two shakes. Show me three. Oh. Oh, dude. This guy's about to get it. Let's see if I threaten him again. Because it worked on that. Uh, Who did it work on? Was it Bulbasaur? It was one of the Pokemon. We threatened him. But uh, hey, yo, Piplup. Piplup. If you don't, if you don't get in this Ultra Ball here... We're going to hit you with an Earth Power. And I don't want to do that. But you got to get in this Ultra Ball, man. You got to get in this Ultra Ball. Let's throw it. Let's see if we get it. Come on, baby. Oh, Pip-Pop. pip -Pop's playing games with us. He's playing games with us all day long. Burn starting chip away from him. And I'll make it a little bit easier every time he gets a little chip on the health. And we're just going to throw another Ultra Ball. We got plenty. We got 47. We'll play the long haul game. I do have an extra Mash Ball, and I'm not afraid to throw it. I'm not afraid to throw it. There's two shakes. Give me three. Click it down. We found the Gen 3 starter Mudkip, but I got this Crawdon that's been chasing me around. But good thing we were able to finesse around it. Let's capture ourselves this Pokemon. But yo, I wish I could find this thing shiny. This thing is fire shiny. I absolutely love it shiny. But cool fact about this Fountain Spring Cave is there is a lot of rare Pokemon here. So if you're looking for a 
certain rare Pokemon. This is probably the place you can buy Togepi here, Gibbles here, Dratini spawn as well. It is just great all around for some very cool Pokemon. But we're throwing our first Ultra Ball. Can we... Mm. Mmm, I was gonna say, can we catch it on our first Ultra Ball? I was really hoping it. This thing's gonna use Endivar. That's easy eats. That's easy eats all day. I am going to hit this thing with an Earth Power. I am gonna hit this thing with an Earth Power. Oh, this thing has Double Edge. Yo! Look at this thing. Gonna take a little bit of recoil damage, but I don't think an Earth Power would KO this thing. It's not Stab. Macargo's not that uh, powerful. Let's, let's hit him up. Beautiful. Bring him down to Yellow Health. Make things just a tad bit easier for our life. But Ultra Ball gonna come out here. Let's huck it over there. But after we catch this thing, we only have one more water starter left. And it is a lot of people's favorites. It is going to be Squirtle. It is going to be Squirtle. But this thing's going to take more recoil damage, so I do not want to hit him again. I don't want to hit him again, and... Oh, no. Oh, no. This thing's going to slowly lose HP, but that benefits us. I feel like this next Ultra Ball, we should be able to catch him. We got the burn going. We got him down in the yellow. Should be easy catch. Should be easy catch. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ultra Ball going to fly. Yeah. Toss that over there. Come on, baby. Catch this one up. One wiggle. Two. Give me three. And there's the click. Let's go grab Squirtle and finish up with the water starters. OG water starter has been found. Let's grab ourselves the Squirtle, the final water starter for this game. Dude, I love me some Squirtle. I know a lot of people do like uh, Squirtle as their favorite starter Pokemon, but let me know in the comment section down below. I guess we can do like question of the video. Your guys' favorite starter out of these gens, out of the first four gens, let me know in the comment section down below. For me, I'm a big Trico guy. I'm a big Trico and Piplup. I think they're my top two on the board for uh, gens one through four. So let me know your guys' answers down in the comment section down below. But Squirtle's going to pop out of this ball real quick. Do not hit me with a water move. He's going to iron defense up. He's going to iron defense up, and I really want to hit this thing, but I think it, this next Ultra Ball could be our could be our catch. So I'm going to go for it. I am going to go for it. Let's do it. Ultra Ball flying out here. Hey, give me a critical catch. Nope. This thing's popping. This thing gonna be a pain. Little Squirtle wants to be a pain. But it's kind of annoying how they're a little tougher to catch because they're level 60. They're level 60 and up, which is nuts. Which is nuts. And you can't really find them any level lower because you can only find them post-game in the dens. And these are the levels that the dens are at. But third Ultra Ball is the charm here. There's one wiggle. Give me two. Give me three. Click it down. Let's go. Water starters complete. Let's finish this video off by collecting the fire starters. So the fire starters, Charmander, Cyndaquil, Torchic, and Chimchar are all located in two spots. You can either go to the Volcanic Cave or the Sandseer Cave. So we are going to actually head to the Volcanic Cave and get looking for them. This is our first try. Maybe we can get some first try luck like the last time. Last time we got a nice, lovely little Totodile to rip it up with right on the first try. And so far, this one isn't looking good. We got Macargo. We do have Macargo in our party, but not looking so hot. Let's go in and back and see if we can get a starter on the second try. Let's go pop it in here. And anybody? Anyone? Camera ups, there are there will be a lot of camera ups and some centrets which we don't like, but you know, we, we won't we won't talk about our hatred of centret in today's video. We'll save that one for a whole nother video with like an hour long video of us just ranting on about centret. But let's give it one more try before we just cut to our first starter. Let's see. Macargo, Onyx, ooh, dip around this Onyx. Keep flying through here. And yo, there's some big Pokemon here. There are some big Pokemon in this game. I see a good old Chimchar up in that top right corner. We got to finesse our way around all these Pokemon and go grab ourselves. Oh, yo, double starter. Yo, we got Chimchar here and we got the OG Charmander. So if you guys look for Charizard for any type of reason, he's here too. He is here too. So we're going to grab ourselves Charmander right after this one. Let's grab ourselves Chimchar. But yo, that saves me a lot of time. That saves me a lot of time because I'm not going to lie. This video recording is taking a while because these guys are actually a pain in the neck to find. They are super, super rare, but let's catch ourselves this wonderful Chimchar. Get him. Come on, Ultra Ball. Give me first try. Ultra Ball's doing me dirty. They were, do they were working good with the grass Pokemon, but not doing it now. I was waiting on directions. I really do not want to hit this thing with a Earth Power. Earth Power, I think, would kill. Not even gonna lie. I think Earth Power would kill. Let's throw another Ultra Ball. Come on, baby. Come on, there's two. Show me three. Lock it down. Let's go. Chimchar caught. Let's head up to that Charmander. Let's head up to that Charmander. So two and one. Gotta love it. Gotta love the two and ones. This makes life 10 times easier. Macargo gets a level up. Our party's just stacked with a bunch of random Pokemon. But Macargo's our main guy. He's down in our team preview because I just thought it would be funny. I think when I do these guys, I'm just going to put like funny Pokemon down there that you would personally never see. But let's roll over. Charmander should just be chilling here. Come on, yo. Fingers crossed for shiny one. That would be incredible. Nope. Regular boy. Regular boy. But dude, that would be absolutely amazing. But I'm going to hit this thing with a quick ball. I'm going to hit this thing with a quick ball. See if we can actually get rolling with that one. I do already have a Torchic, which is really, really nice, but we just found him randomly. But let's go into the Quick Balls. Come on, Quick Ball. I don't think Quick Ball called anything yet. Quick Ball looking for his first catch. Quick Ball with a wiggle. Oh, he gets two. 
There's three. Yo, quick ball rocking out there. There is the second out of the four fire stars. Let's head on and catch the final two. So I found the Cyndaquil, but I got this camera up chasing me. He's right over here. There's my boy, the Legends Arceus starter, who I might actually go with. He's a very cool Pokemon. Here's Cyndaquil. Let's rip him up and let's catch him. But yo, I'm going for Quick Ball again. Quick Ball worked on the Charmander. Hopefully it'll work on this guy right here. But yo, Cyndaquil's such a cool starter. I don't even know what... What what kind of animal is he? I don't know. He just looks so cool. I just think he looks so cool. Quick Ball popping out again. Let's see if we go back to back on the Quick Balls. There's two. Oh man, Quick Ball failed us again. Quick Ball had one time to shine. One time to shine in uh, this video. But let's just start throwing Ultra Balls. This thing is going to take a little bit of recoil damage. And we'll get the Flame Body. Does not does not where's my uh, ultra balls let's start hucking these things and capture my gen 2 boy right here i love cynical i think he's very cool but one wiggle not gonna be enough things hopping out is he gonna roll another double edge he goes for a double kick and that's gonna be super effective but i'm hoping he gets flame body here even a flame body come on no flame body man wow thought i would get it burn would definitely help us out on catching Ultra Ball coming back out up against this. Should have brought my uh, Fall Swipe Pokemon out here. Definitely would have been easier. Definitely would have been easier, but hey, we like to have fun here. We like to mess around. Rollout's going to come here. Rollout should be easy eats for my boy. Actually, it is super effective. If it's weird, it's a rock move. Macargo's rock. It's still super effective. I don't like that. Should at least like be neutral. Because, like, you know, we're rock and fire. Should kind of cancel out, in my opinion. But this Rollout is going to start doing more and more. So we got to actually catch this thing. We got to actually catch this thing. Okay, we dodge him. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, this is the one. This this Ultra Ball is the one. We're going to huck it out there. Come on, baby. Click it down. Click it down. Bro, not even a wiggle. Not even a wiggle. Get out of my face. Double kick's going to pop. And that's going to kill us. That is going to kill us here. That's a little rough news. But we do have other starters. We do have other starters out here. And I might throw out... Let's see what moves uh, the other guys have. I might have to hit this guy up a little bit. My car go down. Use next Pokemon. Uh, we could go Toted out here. Oh, he's got some good moves. I'm going to hit this thing... With a nice little metal claw. Nice little metal claw. Actually, metal claw won't really do much. So I go superpower. Yeah, we're gonna go superpower here. I don't think superpower is gonna kill. He double kicks me. There's no way superpower kills. I think it could bring him potentially to half. It's a strong move, but maybe not even two half. There's no way it kills. Total's weak. Superpower pops, pops. Beautiful. Good amount of damage. That's exactly what I was looking for out of that superpower there. So we're Ultra Ball and finish up with these starters. Come on, baby. Click it down. Lock it down. Dude, this Cyndaquil. He's like, hey, yo, you ain't getting off the hook that easily. He's going to burn up here. Yeah, see, this not actually change his typing. Oh, that's did some good damage. Ooh, he's fizzling out. Not very effective while Cyndaquil burns himself out. I don't think he's fire typing anymore. I think that's how that move works, but come on. This Ultra Ball has got to catch. Come on, man. There's a wiggle. Dude, Cyndaquil. Don't make me throw a Master Ball at you. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do, guys. Hey, yo, Cyndaquil. Just letting you know, you're not getting this one. We are launching a Hydro Pump at you. Water on fire. I know you don't like that, so you better get in this Ultra Ball here. There's Wiggle. There's two. Oh, he wants the Hydro Ball. Do I just laser this guy? Do I just laser this guy? <laughs> well, coming through here. And that's going to KO us, yo, dude. This guy can steamroll us. This guy can steamroll us, and we won't like that one bit. Use next Pokemon. Bring out... Uh, let's bring out Growlithe here. Maybe Intimidate will affect him a little bit. I'm surprised we haven't caught him yet. Especially with the damage on him. Damage is level. But another Ultra Ball coming out here. Cyndaquil might take the cake for hardest starter to catch. Here we go. There's Wiggle. Two. Give me three. Oh my god, yo. Come on, Cyndaquil. Come on, Cyndaquil. He's going to roll again. That's going to KO us. This thing is steamrolling my Pokemans, dude. For no reason. For no reason. Should have brought more. Should have brought the good guys. We got, we got two grass guys left. Oh no. Two grass guys. Yo, Bulbous Run. I need you to catch this thing. Ultra Ball coming out here. Let's go, Bulby. Let's go, Bulbs. One. Two. Oh, we got it here. We got it here. Let's go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, all 12 starters for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. If you did find this guide informative, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below what other guys you would like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.